Hi, everyone, and blessings, blessings, blessings. Thank you for being here on another Sunday. If you guys can hear me, please give me a thumbs up. Please do. Blessings. And again, since I'm here, and we keep it on a spiritual note on this day because it is Sunday. Now, today we're going to speak about a topic that you might say, hey, vet, eh, this is, is it, is it going to work for me? Is this going to be something that I can use? And this is an absolutely yes. Now, I know we have people from all over the world, and we're going to be focused on the American Bible, okay? But there are prayers in each and every one of your civilizations, in all your religions that you can use. You just have to find it or create your own words. But the thing is, is that once you learn a phrase or a prayer that you can use when in time of need, when you're trying to manifest, you will see the doors open up. And I'm going to tell you this right now. It might be doors that open up that you're just like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Now, the topic of today is powerful or miracle prayers, powerful or miracle words or phrases that we can use to absolutely open the doors of prosperity. Now, again, I want to thank so all, I want to thank already the um, members that have signed up. That's here, Stephanie Jenkins. Um, I seen Diana, I seen Clinton Hall, I see Corbana's Antone. Um, who else? I hope I'm not missing anyone else. Um, but um, let me see, Diana, Clinton Hall, Sharon Webb. I see you all here. I'm sure Carlton will be here soon. And listen, don't forget that we do have membership right now. And the people that signed up for membership basically get priority when it comes to questions or anything. But I will tell you guys this. The prices are very cheap. And basically, we throw in a whole lot for those based on whatever tier you're signing up. So today we're talking about powerful prayers, you guys. We're talking about prayers that can absolutely open the doors to your life. And that is it. Now, before we get started with that, I do want to let you guys know there's some people probably on it and never heard of my world of metaphysics. This is a law of attraction metaphysical channel that gives manifesting techniques, all types of manifesting techniques, no matter if it's prayer, affirmations, visualization, scripting, mirror work, whatever it is, using bay leaves, using cinnamon, whatever it is you choose to use as a manifesting technique, it's all here in one place. And today we're going to talk about powerful prayers. And then I'm going to speak to you about a little bit how it actually helped me in my life, okay? So now, it doesn't matter if you're looking for that love of your life, if you're looking for that new home, that new car, that new career, or just looking to find yourself. Powerful prayers is what, is what would get you there. Again, it doesn't matter what faith you are. There is only one God, and you guys have to understand that. The words that I'm saying, you can switch these things around and use the universe, use God, use Jesus, use Allah, use G um, um, Jehovah, whatever it is that you seek or you look to as your higher source, switch the words for that. And it absolutely is the same thing. Again, there is only one God. And I want to make this very clear on this channel. I believe in God. I believe in the universe. So no matter if I say universe, God, Jesus, it does not matter. I'm telling you right now, I believe in one God, a supreme being, or we would not be here. Okay? Maybe a little different from a lot of people, but I believe in a supreme being. So now we're going to get started. And this is exciting because I love this topic. And this is a topic that's going to help all of you when in time of need. And again, when you see that your manifestations are not happening, this is when you turn to this. In fact, you turn to this in the beginning. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip about this, okay? And that is, no matter what I'm doing, what prayer I'm doing, when I'm talking to my angels, I always started off with one prayer, Okay, and I have a lot of things in front of me because I don't want to mess up and give you guys the wrong information. 
but I'm going to tell you guys exactly what it is that I do. Okay. Um, and there's so many things you guys, and I'm telling you, if you want to just look these things up, I have Bibles all over my house. This is the one I'm using now. And this is a study Bible, a King James Virgin study Bible. Okay. And I use this. This is actually the greatest book ever written. And again, um, in India, I mean, in other areas, you guys might have the Quran. If you look and compare the Quran to the Bible, a lot of the things are the same. You guys It's only one God. Okay. And I'm not going to go into the Bible because people tend to get upset. They get mad if they believe in a certain thing in a certain way. So that's not what this is about. This is about using man manifesting techniques, which is using a prayer, prayer for manifesting. Okay. So now what is the one that I can tell you? Oh, someone just signed up to be a member. Let me see who it is. It is Makia. And she signed up to be a gold member. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Again, the gold members is for people that want to have coaching and buy products. And you can always go up and down. So it's up to you for whatever it is you want to do. Okay. But welcome, um, Malkia, for joining up to be a um, member. Blessings to you. Thank you for joining the family. The extended family. Okay. Because we all are family. Now, one of the things that I want to tell you that I use most of all when it comes down to opening the, opening the doors to anything that I'm manifesting, and that would be the King James Version of, or whatever version of the Psalms 23. Now, listen, you guys, if you guys don't know Psalms 23, I advise you guys to read it a couple of times. And listen, sometimes I mix the words up a little bit, just a little bit, but Psalm 23 is my go-to psalm prayer when I need assistance, when, I am, when I'm in anything that is going wrong. And I'm going to tell you guys this right now. When I start any type of ritual or if I'm speaking to my angels or taking a walk or just trying to concentrate, I started off with the 23rd Psalm. Now, I'm telling you guys this. You guys are learning my secrets. And again, everything I'm telling you guys could be a book, but I'm giving it here to you guys for free, okay? Now, what is it about the 23rd Psalm that I am telling you is one of the most powerful things that you can say when you're in a, a dilemma, when you feel like your manifestations are not coming true, and when you feel like your back is up against the wall and you feel like everyone's coming up against you. The 23rd Psalm is one that I recommend every single one of you to learn. Again, if you're from India or another place or you're Asian and you want and you use a different religion, please, there's other things out there. But even just learning this is going to help you. OK, so it reads, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Why shall you not want? You shall not want because whatever it is you want in life is already yours. Ha ha. Ha ha. The Lord is my shepherd. When you have a shepherd and you are a sheep, the shepherd feeds you. The shepherd protects you. The shepherd is your source of everything. Okay. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Okay. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. That's life. That's beauty. That's everything that you want. Gold, silver, cars, houses. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Still waters. Again, if you know anything that I'm talking about on this channel, when we say still waters, we're talking about calm, peace. Okay? So remember, you guys, it's not, the words are not what it means literally. Still waters. Waters is emotions. So we're talking about calmness, peace. So a lot of you out there that are stressing about your manifestation, stressing about things that are going on in your life, you remember this. He leadeth me beside, he leads, he lies me down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul, gives me faith. He leadeth me in the path of the righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. 
The shadow of death is all things physical that's going on around you. It's what we're experiencing here. It's when you hear someone died, you hear somebody was raped, you hear something happened, there was an earthquake, and you feel for these people. This, even though I walk through the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me and thou staff, and that's and thy staff, thy comfort me. This is saying. Hey, look, whatever's going on in your life, whatever's going on around you, that is not for you. You know that there is a higher deity that supports you, that cares for you. And you have to know that is not your reality. Okay? Thou prepare the table in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. You are blessed. You are blessed to have whatever it is you want in life. You guys have to start understanding the real meaning to these things. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The house of the Lord is the internal place where God resides in you. Again, when I read these things, oh, Belinda Sigala, oh my God, signed up as a gold member. Blessings to you. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Much love to you guys for signing up, becoming part of the membership. Yeah. And when you read this, it is saying there is nothing to be worried about. Release the fear. Release the worry. Know that God is in you, through you, and all around you, and is your supporter. Is the thing, is the energy, is the power that feeds you, that supports you, and that protects you. When I start anything, any type of prayer, it is Psalms 23, you guys, okay? So I'm not going to dwell on that, but I just want to make sure that you know about this because this is one of my most powerful prayers that I use in my home when no one's around, when I'm driving in my car. If I'm talking to my angels or trying to figure out something, I start off with this and then I go into whatever it is that I want to say. Now, the next thing, like I want to make sure I catch the good ones, that the ones that I really, 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 really um, focus on, okay? Um, the next thing that I will say that I do in the time of need, when I feel like things are coming up against me, you guys, when I feel like, whoa, what the heck is going on? I sit back and it is, again, a part of the Lord's Prayer, and it is Psalms 46.10. Psalms 46, 10, everyone. And it is be still and know that I am God. Listen, you guys, this is powerful. And if you guys seen my vision boards, I don't think it's on this one. It's on the other one. I have in my bedroom on another vision board. It says, be still and know that I am God. That is anything you want in life, anything you desire. There is no need to fear or worry. You sit back, relax, and you be still. And know that the God inside of you is guiding you, protecting you, and making sure whatever it is that you want will manifest. Now, the thing is that I tell people, you have to take action. I'm getting people thinking that they could just lie on the sofa and a million dollars fall out of the sky. They feel like they can get a job and say, I'm practicing the law of attraction. And all of a sudden, a job comes for fifty dollars or $100,000 a year and plops up in their lap. It does not work that way, everyone. And I'm going to tell you, if you're not getting that here on this channel, what it is, you set the intent. You steer your ship in that direction and you let it go. Once you know where it is you're going in life, you steer that ship in that direction. You take action. Action is like watering the seed that you planted and you let go. And if you need assistance or courage, encouragement, motivation, you speak a prayer to the God that's inside of you. Like, be still and know that I am God. Hey, look, you're not getting that job. Be still and know that I am God. It's like God is saying, you be still. You may not get that job, but I got something even better for you. And you don't even know, but I see it because I see everything that is going on. Be still and know that I am God. God will fight your battles. The universe will fight your battles. Allah will fight your battles. Jehovah will fight your battles. Krishna 
will fight your battles. Whatever it is, your battles will be fought by the power that, does, that, that is inside of you, that resides in you. You be still and sit back. Now, there was something going on in my life, nothing major, but I was like, whoa, what's going on? I had to sit back and say, whoa, Yvette, okay, stop it. Be still and know that I am God, knowing that the God in me will handle anything that there is. Now, to get God, God already knows, the universe already knows what it is that you want. But for me, I speak it out. I said, thank you, God, for blessing me with a successful career. Thank you, God, for blessing me with my new home. Thank you, God, for blessing me with my new car. Even if I don't have it, thank you, God, for blessing me with my new car. I know, God, you are my supplier. You are my supporter. You are my protector. Whatever it is in life that I want, I know it's already mine. I'll just keep moving in that direction, and I know you will open up the doors for me. I'm letting this go. That leads me to another saying that I'm going to tell you right now that you must use, okay? And that is release you guys, okay? This is something that I speak about a lot. Hi, Carlton Atkins. I knew you were going to be here. <laughs> I already spoke it before you even got here. Um, the next thing is, is release. And this release has to do with receiving what it is you want in life because you are holding on to the when, the what, the how, the who. You're holding on to the where. You're holding on to everything. You're not saying, this is what I want. This is what my direction, this is what I see myself having. And this is where I'm going to steer my ship. That's it. I got a compass and it's going to take me in that direction. You're too busy saying, well, how am I going to get there? Who's going to steer the, the ship? What is going to happen? Yvette, when? When am I going to get there? You're so busy saying, what if, who, should, you know, the whole nine that you're missing the point of letting go. So a lot of times I tell people, God, the, when you pray and you say what it is that you want in life, I ask you to say, God, I give this to you. God, I know you're my supporter, you're my protector, and you're my supplier. God, this is what I desire, and God, I give it to you. You get up in the morning and you say, God, I give this to you. Universe, I give this to you. Jesus, I give this to you. And you let it go. Don't sit there and say, oh my God, Becky Sue got hers already and I didn't get mine. You sit back and say, okay, God, what is it that I need to do? What is it that I need to work on? And you sit there and you take a direction into going wherever it is you want in life and then allow God to work through you. Listen, it works, you guys. This works powerful. It has gotten me out of a lot of things that I probably would have been like, oh my God, probably wouldn't be here right now talking to you. And it was almost like the universe opened up the doors for me and said, no, Yvette, here, this is you. Here, this is you. When I was selling my building, it was more like, okay, I had great tenants, but I wasn't making all the money that I wanted. It was time for it to go. And I prayed on it because I wanted to sell it to the right person, not just to any person, because I wanted to make sure my tenants was okay. And I had to release it. I had to give it to God. And I mentioned this to you guys in my other videos. I had to give it to God. I had to release it. I had to state what it is that I want. The perfect buyer, a buyer that bought the house, the building for cash, a buyer that had the potential of doing any type of reconstruction to make the building even better, a, build, a, a buyer that had experience owning buildings. This was my thing. And I turned down other people and then voila, I got the buyer and he came right in, bought it for cash and I walked away and my tenants was okay. The thing is, I had to release the hold. I had to release the how, the where, the what. I had to release it. I had to release it and put it in God's hands. And that's how I sold my building. That's how I bought my first house. That's how I bought my townhouse where I'm living right now. That's how I got my Range Rover. That's how I got my Volvo. Every single success story that I put on my channel, it always included, I had to release something. I had to give it to God. And you guys, if you go back to any of those videos, you will see that I always mentioned that I gave it to God, that I wrote it out to God 
that I released it to God. And I, all of a sudden, everything opened up for me. Now, that we, we spoke about the Lord's Prayer. We spoke about be still and know that I am God. We spoke about release and letting God handle whatever it is God needs to do. Queenie, I see you. I see you. Welcome here, Queenie. I see you. another member. Welcome here, Queenie. Blessings to you. Okay. Now, what psalm would I tell you to use when you are in trouble? Besides the 23rd psalm, what psalm would I tell you to use? Now, this is a powerful one, you guys. And I cannot do this video, this live stream right here without telling you this. And that is Psalm 121, okay? Psalm 121. If you haven't heard of this Psalm, this is the Psalm to basically know, okay? If you're hearing what I'm saying, please give me a thumbs up. And again, you guys, I know we're speaking on the, um, the Bible, the United States, the Bible that we use, the King James Version, I, but listen, this can also apply to you. And then you can also look at the Quran, which is very, very, very similar to the Bible and see where it connects. OK, again, there is only one God. OK, so now so now this one right here, I'm going to read real, real quick. And it's basically the first two lines you really need to know. And it is I lift up my eyes to the hills. OK, you're going within. OK, where cometh where 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 winds cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smith it thee by day nor moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out, thy coming in from this time forth and evermore. When you are in a situation where you're going to court, where you're having trouble at your job, where you're having trouble in your family, your husband, your children, this is the psalm to say besides the 23rd psalm. When you do the 121 psalm, it's giving you motivation, inspiration. It's giving you support in all ways when in trouble. It's saying, God, I lift up my eyes to the hills where, where cometh my help. Now, we're not talking hills like literal hills. We're talking inspiration. We're talking going inside, closing your eyes and looking into the God that dwells inside of you. We're looking about going into yourself. And looking where the true um, spirit is, where the true God is, okay? Again, God is everywhere, in you, through you, all around you. So it doesn't matter where you're looking. But the thing is to know the truth, to know that you don't have to seek outside of yourself for any resolution. All your resolutions, all your solutions come from inside, okay? And this is something that you guys must know, that no one on the outside can do anything for you. You create your life by going within and using the power within to come out and bless you. That is the secret, everyone. And it's something that everyone should know. Now, again, we spoke about a couple of things here. The Lord's Prayer. And, okay, we spoke about the Psalms 23rd. Um and we got the Lord's Prayer. Well, we didn't really speak about the Lord's Prayer all the way. It was um, the Lord's Prayer as our Father who art in heaven. That is another thing. We, we spoke about the 23rd Psalm, okay? The Lord's Prayer is a prayer that a lot of people use. And that's the Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou shalt be done on earth as it is done in heaven, okay? This is another powerful prayer. It is actually stating what's inside is outside. What's done inside is done outside. And this goes right back to our sayings again about what's inside is outside. You guys have to understand if you look deeper into these things, you will see that these things means something more than what is written. You have to look inside of the words and decipher what it is. 
is symbolic, everyone. A lot of things that are here. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be, thy, hallowed be my name, thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Again, we're looking at heaven, okay, being your inner self, okay? Earth being the physical. Whatever's done in, internally in your mind is also done on the outside, okay? Whatever's being done, you are making it for your outside. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as for uh, as we forgive those who sin up against us. That is forgiveness, everyone. Don't you see how these things, no matter what you're saying, metaphysically in the by in the in the church, in the Catholic churches, doesn't matter where you are, it is still the same. Um, um give us this day our daily bread, forgive our sins that we forgive. That's forgiveness. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for the kingdom, the power and the glory are, are yours now and forever. This is the contemporary version of this, okay? And then the other version is thou is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Now, listen, you guys, the whole purpose of this live stream is to let you know, I don't care how many bay leaves you burn. I don't care how many affirmations or scripting or whatever you're doing, mirror work. I don't care whatever you're doing. The thing is you must know where your power comes from. You must know your place in life. You are the creator of your life and you have a shepherd there protecting you as you navigate your life here for yourself. You, you want to sit by the still waters. That is your blessing. That is your right. And you have a right to sit and live in peace and harmony. You have a right to be blessed. You have a right to manifest whatever it is in your life that you want. Whatever God has for one person, God has for you and maybe more. We all were given talents and passions. What is it that you can do to you 90 years old, even if you wasn't going to be paid? What is it that you do and you do very simple and easy and it just comes to you naturally? God has given each and every one of us a talent, a passion, and that is where you need to focus on to use. Black Diamond, welcome to the bronze member. Listen, welcome Black Diamond. Blessings to you for joining the family. I love it. I love it. I love it. Listen, God has placed something in each and every one of us to take us to the next limit, to allow us to live here on this earth and experience life for whatever it is. You guys have to understand this. And once you let it go, give it to God. State, God, you blessed me. You told me whatever it is that I want to have in this lifetime is mine. I'm, I'm releasing the worry, the doubt, the frustration, the disappointment. I'm letting go of those lower energy vibrations, despair, worry, hate, letting go of it all. And I'm giving it to you, God, and I'm lifting myself up to happiness, contentment, gratitude, love, and I am going to manifest whatever it is in my life. Again, whatever it is going on around you, that is not who you are. That is not part of your reality. If you can help somebody, you can help them, but do not make their reality yours. If someone is engaging in negative conversation, Hey, look, listen for a minute. Hey, look, love you the whole night. Offer encouragement, then walk away. Hey, look, girl, I gotta go. Be nice and respectful. I gotta go. Because you don't want to absorb that negativity. That is not your reality. Whatever they're doing to have negative a negative reality, that is on them. And listen, each and every one of us is going to go through a period where we got negativity including myself. I just told you, I had to say, whoa, Yvette, what the heck are you doing? You're being hit by little things. They're little things, but they mean you're being hit. And, and I'm like, okay, God, I give this to you. Whatever I'm doing wrong, God, I need to release it because God, I give this to you. I don't want stress. I want happiness. I want peace. So my thing is I had to sit back and say, whoa, what is it mentally that I'm doing to attract little things into my life. And then I have to release it. And then I have to give that to God and let God do its work. No matter what it is you're doing, you can use the bay leaves, the cinnamon, the, the affirmations, the scripting, as long as you know where the power comes from. Now, I 
I am ready is another saying that you can do. When you feel like things are being held up or things are not manifesting in your life and it should have, you say to yourself, God, I'm ready. What do you mean when you say, God, I'm ready? You're saying, God, I'm ready for the blessings that you have for me. God, I'm ready for that new house. God, I'm ready for this that you promised me. God, I'm ready. God, I'm ready, meaning I'm taking action in the direction of where it is I want to be. I am ready. And that's what it means. And when you say I am ready, the doors open up. God is say, hey, look, I was knocking at that door many times and you didn't hear me. I knocked at the door many times and you did not open the door. You were so busy saying how you couldn't get anything, how the bills were piling up, how your job was treating you bad. You were so busy and I came. You asked me to come. I knocked on the door and you didn't open up. But when you say, God, I give this to you, God, I am ready. And you open up that door, God, God to say, thank you. I'll, talk. I'll stand back, be still, and know that I am God. Let's all just take, the, take another step back one more time and look at this for what it is. You're going through hardship. Your job is about to fire you for something you didn't do. You're saying to yourself, oh my God, what has happened? What I got to do? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to do? What am I going to do? And it gets worse and worse and worse. And then finally, you listen to me today. And then you say, oh, shoot, this is not me. God has my back. If not, God has something better for me. God, I am giving you this problem. I am letting go and I'm giving it to you. And God, I am ready for whatever it is you have for me. All of a sudden, the doors open up. And then you say, God, where were you all this time? And God will say, I was there. I kept knocking on the door. I gave you dreams. I sent you to Yvette to watch her video. You still wasn't listening. It wasn't until you watched her video the second time is when you opened up the door. And I am here. I'm here. Now, what I want you to do is sit by the still waters. Be still and know that I am God. And then the doors open up. This is how it works. And listen, you don't have to believe what I'm saying. Try it. If you're going through something, you give it to God. You ask God to be your supporter, your protector, which God is already. You tell God that I am opening up the door and I am ready. God, I'm giving you this situation and whatever it is you have in my life that's for me, I am ready. And you will see the winds will blow and it will say, be still and know that I am God. And then you will sleep at night and you will be comfortable. And then when you wake up, everything will change. Listen, I love this. And I'm telling you because I'm excited because this is what it is. And I'm going to tell you right now, you guys, bay leaves, all of these are tools to help you move in that direction. But at the end of the day, just knowing what to say will open the doors by itself. Okay, you guys just have to understand and trust in the Lord, trust in the universe. That's all you have to do. So now I want to make sure that I covered everything. We did the Lord's Prayer. We did the 23rd Psalm. We did the 121 Psalm. We did the um, be still and know that I am God. Um, we did everything. And I want to make sure I have one more thing that I had on here. And there was a there was a um a manifestation prayer. And if you guys have a pen, it is by Jeremiah 33 3. 33 3. 33 chapter, third verse. Okay. And it clicked to me because I was like, wow, this is beautiful. And this is something that a lot of people might gravitate to when it comes down to manifesting. And it is, dear Lord. I thank you for your hidden secrets of prosperity that you have stored up for me. I pray that as I go to sleep tonight, ha ha, what do we do? We always do things before we go to sleep. That I will dream dreams and have visions from the Lord. Okay, waking up at two to four o'clock in the morning. As I dream, I pray that you will manifest yourself to me and show me great and mighty things that I do not know. Ha ha, two to four o'clock in the morning. Okay, waking up, seeing 333, 444, 1111, seeing these things in the middle of the night, having a dream, waking up, saying, oh my God, I heard something in my ear. I heard somebody knocking on the door. I heard a ringing in my ear. All of these things, 
And it says, as I dream, I pray that you will manifest yourself to me and show me great and mighty things that I do not know. I pray that your presence shall be evident in every area of my life. Meaning as you go about your day, things just start popping up. Things just stop happening. And then it says, amen. Or you could say, so it is, or whatever it is you want to end it off with. But I thought this was a great prayer in Jeremiah 33, 3. And if you want, it's there, look it up. This is a blessing. And again, you guys, I give you guys information to help change your life. This is what this channel is about. And listen, remember anything that you want, that you seek in life comes from within. By tuning in to who you are through meditation, through walking, through prayer work, through mirror work, affirmation, scripting, all of these are types of prayer. Um, affirmative prayer, spiritual mind treatments, all of these things are prayers, are prayer work that is there, that the universe placed there to help you manifest whatever it is that you want in your life. So again, you guys, if you didn't sign up for membership, please sign up for membership. We It starts off at $2.99, everyone, okay? Other than that, it moves up. And then when you go up to the higher levels, you get extra videos um, that no one else will be able to watch. Again, if you go to the gold membership, every month you get discounts, big discounts on products. If you buy bay leaves and crystals and um, private lessons or coaching, whatever it is you want, this package pays for itself. If you call me up and you do coaching with me, whatever it is, it pays for itself. So again, everyone, I'm going to say blessings to you all. I'm going to get to a couple of the comments here. Again, I see the members. I'm going to go through them first, and then we're going to go back quickly through the others. Stephanie Jenkins, I want to thank you for being here first. Grand Rising to you. I want to thank Sharon Webb. She's always here. Good morning. Happy Sunday, family. Of Again, we are all family. Clinton Hall says, good morning from Clemson, South Carolina. Hello, Clinton Hall. Hello. Welcome to membership. We have Diana here again. Good morning, all. Um, Quavanas Antone, who's been here for a long time. Grand Rising, beautiful and beautifuls and gents. I love it. And then we have here Queenie. Hello, Queenie. I'm Grand Rising, Carlton Atkins. Hello, hello, beautiful. Hello to you. Um, and then we have here uh, Malkia, who's just joined as a gold member. Blessings to you. And please look at the video that tells you how it worked, okay? So go back to that video and see how it worked so that you're not missing out on anything. Most of the uh, things that I've released is usually in the comments section. Just go there and you'll see posts just for members. Um, Queenie again said, amen. We have Belinda Sigala. Welcome to a gold membership. You too. Blessings to you. Again, you guys need to go to the main site to see how it worked. Okay. Then we have Carlton Atkins. He said, thank you. Thank you, my love. You and your channel are all that and much, much more. Thank you for your guidance. Blessings to you. As long as I'm giving you guys information that's helping to change your life, I'm happy. So true. Queenie says, um, Stefan Jenkins says, yes, I'm Stefan Jenkins, love and light. Um, Queenie, thumbs up. Malkia, she says, I really appreciate you. And I appreciate you too. And thank you for signing up. Queenie says, Psalm 121. Absolutely. Psalm 121, Psalm 23. And another Psalm I like is Psalm 27, everyone. Um, and there's so many more. Um, Okay, then we have um, thumb, a lot of thumbs up, a lot of thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And then we have, um, oh, Kendra Harris, you're here. Hello, everyone. She came on in. That's another member. And um, Kendra Harris, I just want to say hello and blessings to you. Um, Black Diamond signed up today as a bronze member. Blessings to you. Blessings, blessings, blessings to you. Thank you for signing up. Again, you always get your comments answered quickly in the comment section under any video. It comes directly to me, okay? Directly to me. Um, uh, Kaya gave me a butterfly, and I love that. Wow. Black Diamond says, that's Stephen. Thank you. Um, at Steph oh, she sent something to Stephanie. Blessings to um, you and blessings upon my sis, you and my sister. Blessings to you. I don't know if you know each other, but hello. Interesting, a incorporated consciousness. So we all, so we all must be one. Absolutely, Carlton. 
If God is in me and God is in you and we are all in God, that means we're all one. We're all brothers and sisters. And that's the whole meaning behind that. Okay. And I got Black Diamond that says, Amen, Queenie, 333. I got Belinda Sagala. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Confirmation confirmed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Malika, I will. Okay. And then Belinda Sagala, I have been watching and listening to you for weeks and so drawn to you. Thank you. God bless you. Blessings to you too. And thank you for joining. Um, Stephanie said blessings. Renee Spence. Hello, Renee. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Renee. Um, and blessings to you. Thank you for being here. So many members. So now we're going to go back and I'm going to briefly go through some of the questions that you guys have briefly. And then I'm checking out again, join up. Um, another video will be released this week right here for members only. And again, we're going to be doing some things. I'm trying to set up some things so that we can take this all to the next level. But other than that, I ask you guys to watch the next video, please. My videos, please. <laughs> so again, everyone is saying hello, hello, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, um, good morning. People are saying, a lot of people are saying good morning, um, good morning from Clemson, South Carolina, sunny South Florida, um, all over the world, people are here. Some, I'll be back when she comes. Okay, you're, well, Yvette, well, we're, we're, I'm back. <laughs> and someone wrote here, um, um, oh, hello, good night from, oh, Hong Kong. Hello, Hong Kong. Good morning, blessings, blessings, blessings. Good morning, so many people saying blessings. Missing me, blessing for San Diego. That's on my trip list. Um, Albuquerque, okay, okay. Love it, love it, love it. Um, good morning, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Praises, praises. We have Texas here. Um, that's right. Only one God and his son is Jesus Christ. Absolutely. And remember, and I'm not going to get into the Bible because I said people are start getting mad at me. Remember, Jesus was a son of God. Okay. And so are you. Jesus also made the statement, what I do, you do, and you do greater things is because you are God. You are part of God and God is part of you. That's the same way God, Jesus was a son of God. You are a son and daughter of God also. Remember, God, Jesus was a master at this, a master, okay? A master metaphysician, I call it. And he knew he was the best that ever did it. And in every religion, there is a Jesus, okay? Check it out. They got the Quran. There was a Jesus there too, but name something else, okay? So everything is there, okay? Um. Blessings. Oh, New York. Hello, New York. Hello. We got Florida. We talk to the same God, no matter our upgrade. Absolutely. Again, Malika, thank you. Um, hello. Um, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I love it. Just by saying the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You are saying a prayer that's going to open up the doors. Okay. The Psalm 23. He is our shepherd. Praise Lord. Okay. A lot of people um, BJK, it, it, it too, how I, okay, I'm not just sure. My dad was a minister and my mom missionary, so I had to know the Bible. Absolutely. You probably know it 10 times better than me, but I tell you one person you don't know the Bible better than, and that's my father. <laughs> Thy rod and thy staff come from me. Yes, yes. Surely, uh, Belinda Siegel, thank you again for joining. Surely goodness and mercy follow us all our lives and dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I love it. Mine is Psalm 91 and 23. Okay, there's so many Psalms out there, but I am a Psalm person. And let you guys know, if you go on my site, my website, which is in the description, in my best books, on the, if you go to my site and you look up best books, it's there. I have every single book that I am telling you that you should read. And I think my Psalms is in there, the powerful Psalms. And there's a link that takes you to Amazon to purchase it. Okay, it's affiliate link. I get 10 cent. <laughs> I don't know, but it's there. I am reading this. Um, good morning, good morning. Hello. I am reading this chapter before joining this channel. Just amazed. God, God is just wonderful. Blessings to you. Yes, he better be still. Um, Carlton said, thank you, thank you, my love. Okay, we, we spoke about that. Thank you for your guidance, Carlton. It's always a pleasure having you. Faith without works is dead. You need to have action. And that is very powerful. I love it. I usually start with Psalm 91, which asking for forgiveness and 23 for my protection. I love it. I love it. Make it your own. Again, the Lord is true. God has 
um, fought many of my battles and I am uh, memorable. Memorable. Okay. Amen. Amen. Psalm 23, Psalm 46. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hallelujah. Good morning. Uh, amen. Say it and let it go. Absolutely. Enjoy this message while I'm on my job. I just can't shout out loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'm telling your job that you're here. Uh, God, God, I give this to you. 11 likes. Okay, don't forget the like, subscribe, and tap the bell, everybody. Hands up and praise God. Wow, this is so free and absolutely everyone. Amen, amen, amen. I can't stay on here too long. Psalm 124 in the evening. I really appreciate Psalm 21, 121. This too shall pass. I love it. That's another saying. This too shall pass. And you can follow it up anyway. Listen, create your own. This too shall pass is another thing that a lot of people say when they're going up against things and they're having dilemmas. This too shall pass. And you're like, wipe it off your shoulder and keep it going because you know there's a God that dwells inside of you that has your back. I love it. Um, Spirit of Tupac, Outlaws, God, Angel, I put my life in the hands and fight my battles and give me what I deserve is a comment that weight will stop. Um, now I trust in God. I release all my problems. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I love it. Tupac was very spiritual. My uncle was top deacon in our church back in the 60s, 70s, 90, and he would uh, recite Psalms 121 every Sunday. I love it. Was his best Psalm scripture. I'm so grateful um, my, for my upbringing. I love it. This is all, all some of my favorite Psalms. I love it. Um, 121, my dad, my dad taught me this, the kitchen back door as he demonstrated with his hands up when I was younger. I love it. Lord's prayer, prayer. Hello, everyone. I continuously, hello, hello. I continuously, um, again, Kendra Harris, I see you. I pray continue the young people of today get a hold of God's words, ASAP. Yes. And if they watch this video, they will. Stefan Jenkins, blessings to you. Black Diamond, welcome to the bronze member. I love it. Prayers to all of you guys. Um, Black Diamond, beautiful, radiant queen, blessings to you. I love it. <laughs> Good morning. Um, the members are speaking back to members. Steph um, Perez, thank you and blessings upon my sister. Okay, this is exactly what I needed to hear. I live with my mom in this very negative environment. Every day I try my best to block it out while working towards my manifestations and moving out. Listen, don't let that be your reality. Your reality is whatever you want it to be. All the um, God, I'm ready for the blessings you have for me. Blessings to you. All the um, Psalms and messages resonate with me. The 121 Psalm was put in my life in my early 20s, and I applied it every day to start my day and protect myself and my family. Blessings to you, Yvette. Blessings to you. I am ready. I love it. Interesting. Incorporate consciousness. So we all must be one. Absolutely. Yes, Father God, I'm ready. Chat now, 222. I love it. Amen. God, I'm ready. Just touch my soul. Blessings to you. Thumbs up to your sister giving us great tips for freedom. So God, I'm ready. I'm standing in um, agreement and claiming the psalm and prayers over my life in the mighty name of Jesus. I love it. Okay, God, I'm ready. I'm Jeremiah 33, 30, 33, 3 is noted. 33, 3. Yes, it is a 333. Yes. Okay. You see how the signs are there. Yes, prayers work. God blessings to all of you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's at Grand Rising. Toronto's in the house. Trust in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Love it. Jeremiah 33, 3 is my favorite. I love it. Um, I've been watching and listening to you for weeks and so drawn. Thank you, Belinda Sigala, for signing up. I am, I am, I will receive blessings. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Um, Albuquerque. Um, oh, another person here for Albuquerque. Okay. Blessings at Trinidad is here. Love it rising. This right on time with what I'm going through. Blessings, San Diego. Um, yes, you have to visit. I sure do. It's in my it's on my list. <laughs> Psalms 23 is my staple every morning. I love it. We got Jamaica in the house. Thank you. Just open up my eyes and God continues to bless. He, uh, absolutely. That's gratitude for waking up. And you know what? That's a greatest thing you could do every morning because a lot of people did not wake up. And, and that's a blessing. Yvette, please say a word of prayer for me and I'm going to England next month. Listen, blessings to all of you. I said nothing but peace and blessings to everyone here that's following me on this channel, everybody in the world. Listen, if we all say a prayer for each and every one of us every single morning, the world would be a better place. May peace and blessings follow every single one of you with your manifestations, your safety, your protection, your families. And I just send nothing but love with you guys. And just know that God is with you no matter where you go. And it is already done. John 14, 14. I love it. Um, 
Okay, I love it. Blessings, everyone here. Philippines, I love it. Protection. I thank you, Yvette. May heaven shine abundantly on you and no weapon form against you shall prosper, send in unconditional love and laughter and light. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ma'am, I miss my friend. She broke up. Please give me blood. Blessings to you. Blessings. And listen, listen, send her love. 23rd Psalm anointment. Ma, please give me blessings. Blessings. Everybody want blessings and blessings today. I already did to every single one of you. Exodus 14, 14, let God fight all of your battles. We are overcomers. I love it. Amen. So now listen, everyone, I can't stay on here long. I just want to thank every single one of you for showing up on Sundays. Again, we try to keep Sundays a little more spiritual because again, this is where everything comes from, everyone. And you have to remember that. I don't care what anyone is telling you, what you're showing. These are tools and these are things that I'm showing you. But the real power comes from within. It comes from the God that dwells inside of you. And again, I don't want you guys ever thinking that I'm leading you in the wrong direction. I don't want you ever thinking that I'm telling you to lie on the sofa and don't do anything because I will be telling a lie. Okay. Okay. Blessings to you. Um, again, hi, Ben. I'm trying to different things, but I keep finding myself in the same exact situation. I can't get out of the place I struggle. Give it to God. Give it to God and listen to the things that I said today. And again, I'm signing off blessings to all of you. And don't forget, basically anything you want to know about my world of metaphysics is in the description and blessings. Namaste.